Good day everyone, we are the group number three and we are going to present our Venn diagram by comparing and contrasting the elements of two short stories assigned to us. And those are, first, the cask of Amontillado and second, the Telltale Heart. So let's begin with the brief uh, background of the two short stories to be discussed by Miss Grishil Sarmiento. All right, so for the context of the story, The Cask of Amontillado, it is about a man named Montresor who decides to seek revenge against his colleague um, named Fortunato, who has insulted him. So he meets Fortunato at a carnival, lures him into his catacomb, and buries him alive in there. So on the other hand, The Tale Heart is a short story about an unnamed narrator who endeavors to convince the reader that about his sanity while simultaneously describing a murder that he did. So moving on to the Venn uh, diagram presentation. So for the story of uh, the cask of Amontillado, first we have here person versus society conflict. So Montresor uh, uses his subjective experience since he was the narrator that um, Fortunato constantly insulted him and uh, that made him um, make himself a judge or the jury and execu executioner in this tale which also makes him a very unreliable narrator. For the characters on the other hand, first we have Montresor which is the narrator. His face was covered in a black silk mask and it, I guess it represents not the blind justice but rather its gothic opposite which was biased revenge. And Fortunato, Fortunato was dressed in a very motley colored costume like the court fool who gets literally and tragically fooled by Montresor's mask motives. So for the setting, on the other hand, we have here the carnival and also the catacomb. Uh, Montresor chooses the setting of the carnival for its uh, abandonment of social order. While the carnival usually indicates a very joyful and fun social interaction, uh, Montresor distorted it in the story with its merry abandonment, turning the carnival on its head. So for the motif here, we have the animal. So uh, the family of Montresor has this um, known motto, which was translated to no one harms me with impunity, which was um, um, being stepped on with an animal. So Montresor's revenge became the man whose foot harms the snake and is punished with a little bite. So lastly, we have here revenge, which was the theme of the story. So it says um, in the first part of the story, Montresor was constantly ridiculed, which made him um, plant his um, revenge for Fortunato. So it says in the story, the thousand injuries of Fortunato I had borne as I best could, but when he ventured upon insult, I vowed revenge. So moving on to the story of the Telltale Heart, we have again Rain. Okay, so uh, the Telltale Heart. So let's begin with the conflict. So the conflict here is man versus self, which we call internal conflict. So it's all in his head. So his eagerness to kill the old man just because uh, he doesn't like the look of the old man's eye. So, which he explains to the reader that it's like a vulture's eye. And he's bothered to the point that he decided to kill the old man. So, um, for the characters, there's only two characters in the story. Uh, it revolves around the unnamed author, a uh, unnamed nar narrator, so who killed an old man. So, for no apparent reason. And... The other one is the old man, who is the victim. So uh, the old man's eye is the symbol of the story, so which the narrator calls it a vulture's eye. Since vultures are, uh, are scavengers that eat, that eat dead things, so this eye signals how central death is, is to the story. So uh, he feels, the, the narrator feels 
that the old man's eye is evil so it, that is always watching him and that makes him uh, think that the old man can read his mind that's why he decided to take the life of the old man to get uh, read himself of the eye so uh, for the theme the author uh, which is Edgar Allan Poe suggests that the narrator is insane by his claims of sanity so he always tells to the readers that he's not insane he's not mad and that brings out the irony of the story so this suggests that the narrator attempts to rationalize his uh, irrational behavior so uh, let's now proceed to the similarities that will be discussed by mr andre amorato so both short stories possess the elements of guilt and irony so at the cask of amontillado Montresor just wanted to kill Fortunato for his revenge, but arguably, maybe he felt guilty when he blamed the dampness of catacombs for his heart growing, growing sick as he woke Fortunato. Another evidence that he felt guilty extracting his revenge was when he stated that he struggled with the final stone. On the other hand, the telltale heart clearly implies that the killer had gone mad. As the story progresses, the murderer confessed to the crime because of being tormented by his own guilty conscience. This story clearly shows that guilt is a huge factor for the outcome of it. So for the next element, which is irony, Poe is known for employing irony in many of his works. A specific example in this story is the name Fortunato, which means the fortunate one in Italian. Despite his name, Fortunato's fate is certainly unfortunate. As for the telltale heart, the narrator often proves himself that he did not go mad, but at the same time, contradicts his statement through the actions he did. So the first evidence of irony in Telltale Heart is when the narrator attempts to justify his sanity when it is clear that he has gone insane. Another evidence is that when the readers know that the body of the old man lies beneath the floorboards while well, the policemen do not. And finally, the fact that the narrator himself could get away with the murder before he finally confesses. So let's now proceed to the recommended approaches that we chose. Okay, for the first recommended approach, since the, the both stories was quite a thinker, um, we suggest a personal response approach in order to engage the students of, on what they think about the story. So first we can ask the students on how they relate to the story may be on the conflict or, or on the theme or even on what it's trying to um, say. Secondly, we could ask about their opinion on the characters. They could try to relate on how um, mad they were or even the attributes of the characters in itself. So for the next approach, we chose para paraphrastic approach. The first crucial step to this approach is to instruct the students to plot the stories. They should try to brainstorm some ideas that would help them plot a story. Another step is to find the right story structures that is suitable for each genre. Next one is to use textual evidence in discussing the meaning of the story. So they should point out specific lines from the stories and try to dissect the meaning behind it. They call they can also identify the different elements instilled in the said story that would support their claims regarding the meaning of it. Okay, so and that concludes our presentation of the Venn diagram for the cask of Amontillado and Tell Tale Heart. Again, we are the group three and have a good day. <laughs>